What's going on everybody? It's Tim and I want to give you a Voyager update. It's been a couple of days. Sorry, the last couple of days I've been really busy, but we've got some recent Voyager news. And I also wanted to go into a previous article here that I talked about a while back in regards to Binance. So to catch you up with Voyager, since FTX is having all these liquidity issues, Sam Bankman Free turns out to be a huge scam artist. It seems now Voyager is going to have to go into the auction process again. We were just going through this. It took a couple months. We had the court approval and then it was up to us to vote either yes to go through with it or no well before we could even get data on that turns out all these horrible things are happening with ftx and sam bankman freed which are basically the people that were going to buy voyager digital and give us that 70 percent well it seems that all that is just poof smithereens all that's history now and it's up to voyager to find a new buyer but let's get into this video i've got a couple articles to show you if you don't mind hitting the like subscribe ring the notification bell it definitely helps me out i've got some free crypto and stocks for you down below and let's check this out now, first up, I did want to pull up this older article. This actually came out in the middle of September. I did talk about this a while ago, and during the buying process when companies were putting out their bids, Binance was another one alongside with FTX attempting to buy Voyager. And I'm going to get into an important development, which may kind of confirm the possibility of Binance still being interested. But first off, there's an issue here with Binance attempting to buy it. Because of an executive order designed to sharpen the federal government's powers to block Chinese investment in technology in the U.S. and limit its access to private data, on citizens because of this executive order at the time it kind of prevented Binance from buying and Patrick Hillman of Binance said Binance has made investments into countless American companies both directly and through Binance Labs Binance has never been the subject of an inquiry officially or unofficially by CFI US which is the Committee of Foreign Investment on the US but he goes on to say Binance is a Canadian company owned wholly by a Canadian citizen the xenophobia underlying the very nature of us receiving a question about CFI US concerns is almost as shocking as the violation of confidentiality represented by information leaking from the bankruptcy auction. But shortly after that, another Binance spokesperson came in and said that Binance is an international company, not a Canadian one. And I did want to show you guys this recent article, which kind of, to me, gives some signs that Binance may still be interested. And CZ himself in this article goes on to say, no one can protect us from a bad player, to be very frank. If a guy is very good at lying, very good at just pretending to be what he's not, if somebody wants to violate the law, the law is not going to prevent that. The laws can help reduce that. And he's essentially talking about SBF or Sam Bankman Freed. And in one of his Twitter posts, CZ's Twitter post here in November 13, he announces to reduce further cascading negative effects of FTX, Binance is forming an industry recovery fund to help projects who are otherwise strong, but in a liquidity crisis. More details to come soon. And then he says, if you think you're qualified, contact Binance Labs. They want to build an industry association that can kind of lay some rules in place and kind of protect consumers more. He basically says, one of the things we will try to do very soon is we'll try to collect the other industry players together and form an industry association globally, try to deal with some of the common standards in business. So as industry players, we have a responsibility as well. And the crypto exchange Cross Tower is actually working on a revised offer for all the assets of bankrupt Voyager Digital. And as said on November 11, Voyager said that the no shop provisions of the asset purchase agreement between Voyager and FTX US are no longer binding, meaning that the bidding process has reopened and the bankrupt company was in active discussions with alternate bidders. For all we know, they could already be talking to Binance. For all we know, they could be talking to those other investment firms that were interested. So just because we had to restart this bidding process all over again, while it is very unfortunate for us, meaning we're gonna be waiting on our money even longer, all hope is not lost, and maybe we can even get better than the 70% that FTX was saying that we would get. Maybe we end up with more. Maybe we end up with less. All I know is it seems like once we get some steps forwards towards getting our money, getting our assets back, we take more steps backwards. So here we go again with another bidding process. Just when I thought we were done, they drag us back in. But thanks as always, guys. Hopefully this caught you up to speed with Voyager a little bit. Have a good rest of your day and take it easy.